Welcome to part number three of the Epsom Scenario 4 AO Redone Modded Play 4 Panzer Corps 2. We have been uh, fairly successful. I sent uh, only, I believe, four units over here. Uh, they were reinforced by a couple of units that found themselves on the central eastern aspect of the map, and we just sort of went over there and been able to uh, advance. Uh, there are no victory hexes over here per se, but we have a um, fair number of turns left. We can proceed, uh, take this area, proceed up here if we like. There are victory hexes here. And um, we have this bonus hex as well. So in theory, we could take this bonus hex as well and then uh, take the uh, capture five objectives uh, bonus. And then, uh, well, I don't really know, but we have quite a bit of time left. What we do need to do is raid this aerodrome. It said they had some secret papers, which is, translation would be the a jet fighter uh, that the Messerschmitt will need to uh, create the prototype unit that will uh, <coughs> uh, be awarded. Uh, we'll get a hero and such into the future as well. So we can go um, 6 and 5, 0 and 9. Hmm. That's probably some from support fire and some from the entrenchment. How about you? No support there. Well, uh, hmm, all right. I wonder. Um, it seems like a bit much just to get get that extra point. What we need to do is find an efficient way to slaughter that guy. Can get ten points there. Let's see. We can bomb a. I see. Two points. One point. Two points, one point. I see. So we have to deal with this fire and that fire. Or we could go down. Um, hmm. And overrun you. I'm working. I'm seeing a plan coming together here. See here. We have a recon car we can send here, maybe. Or we could send you down here, open up the pathway for our flame tank to use perimeter control to end up here. Or we could send you down. That's even better for artillery and anti-tank support I see we, we, we can't make it oh dear well let's see now and that did us no good at all one and six one and one all right uh, that's nice we're gonna have to take um, some fire perhaps let's see we do one point here do we we do one point. Yeah, we'll take two points. We don't, we don't need that. You? He's ready for action again. Let's see. We can... Um... Yikes. There must be some plan other than lamenting over a lack of zero uh, slot heroes. So 10 of 10, I, I see. Uh, okay, well... Let's see what we have here. It looks as though we're out of range. Let's see. And you? Uh huh, 10 points. Mm. Okay, dokie. 10 points, 5 points. Mm, we can go, um, go up here. Oh boy, now we are essentially uh, officially all over the map. Essentially in a bunch of different places at, at the same time. Yeah. We have no idea what goes on here. Let's send this unit up to find out. Nothing, nothing goes on there. 
All right. We have exactly one anti-air unit in the uh, western aspect of the map. And we're... Um, why I would go up here while I'm when I moved my I see we don't need to go up there just yet we just don't need to we don't need to do any of that uh, we can um, um hmm what can we do really we're gonna clear this lot out we're gonna clear that lot and uh, this guy's just gonna have to uh, hold his own right right in that area which um, should be doable for him really because there are no units about this Matilda tank I don't think moves fast enough to engage him as for this guy <clears throat> well I'm gonna one six him Let's see about them. Um, yeah, well, why not do that? I'll go down here, overrun this guy, overrun you. Let's roll down here, put some points in this uh, hangar there. Um, why not be in a bunch of different places at the same time we'll, we'll go over here as well on that hangar we'll heal you up four points four points we'll drop on this we'll go on this hurricane here roll down here let's see what we have here we'll go um <clears throat> I wonder if that infantry would become interested. Oh uh, boy. So we can go, uh, we'll go right here, up in this direction. And, uh, um, hmm. It's camouflaged, so in, in, in theory, this guy probably wouldn't go up there. An attack hour 152. Is there anyone who would? He probably would or would try. Maybe to get adjacent here and attack hour. Uh, well, that doesn't matter anymore, does it? So we'll not worry. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what else we have. A singular attack somewhere and that we can use uh, or we can go up here and drop this uh, strat bomb why not do it grab some arrow ward points and then um, our shock tactics man is there anyone we want to uh, stay put would seem not especially if we'd have to go off on our own maybe we'll just go and um, um, mull about here Adjacent to fighter cover. So what do we have over here? We rebased that unit. We have the ten points there. Boom. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see here what goes on there. Boom. We'll overrun this guy as well for a bound. Let's see here what we can do. Overrun you as well, hopefully. And we can go find out if there's anything else on the way. There's nothing. I wonder if we could go and... Uh, we probably could, really. If we go here, we can put this fighter here. And we can turn you to an artillery piece. Head over here, de-entrench this guy by one click. And um, in theory we roll up here and circle this guy. And pop him up in a hurry. 
we're at zero three so far we'll put it to this guy here as well zero five it's over for him so we'll go up here take that bonus hex and um, we, we don't really want to get bombed uh, hmm we can get on a fortification uh, say right back over here these units are on a fortification I don't want to move them over there and then move them back so we'll go um, yeah we'll go right here we're happy enough stay right here exactly like that and I, I think that's um, gonna do it for the turn unless we have a Anyone that can attack, we don't. Somebody stepped up there. Six points. Hmm. Six points indeed. We didn't move this guy. We didn't heal him. We didn't do anything. I was going to do it. I wonder. He's still out of range. Let's heal him up. Uh, let's flame this guy here. Flame you. There must be a way to get uh, 12 points. 212, indeed, would take two points. We don't want two points, though. Let's put it to this guy as well. We're out of rounds. Go there and there. We'll be, end up on the river. We can do it. We'll flame this. Uh, flame this guy there. Or uh, run the deer eyes. Overrun that guy is what we'll do exactly. Then um, we can roll over here to um, this airfield. Pull down here. Move our camo at 152 up here. Heal our grenadier up. Invite these. Hope these guys implode on the grenadier on the river. You should look attractive to them. And then you um, will go right here for double support. The flame tank is supported by our double support tank as well. And then there's you. Imagine that's probably not going to do a lot of good. Actually, it did quite a bit. Wonder if we can dredge up two points against that Matilda somehow. Well, that's not going to do it there. But we have aiming assistance. These guys happen to be in the area. Lond has the aiming assistance uh, trait here. It's right there. 10% accuracy. Did that do it for us? Didn't do a blessed thing. No. How about you? Nothing. You? No. Hmm. And if we bombed them, that's one point. Well, who knows? And he's stuck there. Suppressed him. Two and eight. I don't think he can retreat. Can he retreat? I don't know. He retreated. He surrendered. That's true. He's going to follow up with this unit. I was kind of looking forward to it. Let's heal up. We surrendered you. We'll take a city over. Go back over here. Let's see what else we do. Uh, 
Uh, we have a, a scout plane. We'll find out what goes up here. Uh oh. More units on a cha cha. They must spawned another. Uh, well, luckily I know now. So we can uh, arrange for. Uh, I see. Well, they've come to take their bonus hex back. What is that? It's a recon car leading the charge there, unfortunately. Three and seven. Well, <clears throat> don't see any other recon cars though. That's that's good news. Specifically, uh, I see, I see, a camouflage. I see. Well, zero nine. What if we were to uh, go uh, up here with half of our, the non-hero half of our recon car? It turns to a ten. Is it true? 9.83 is true enough for me. So that means we can put the business end of our recon car up here. Surrenderize that uh, recon. Meaning that the enemy will be blind now to our camouflaged anti-tank. We'll heal you up. Remerge. Get out of the way here. Swing this uh, unit up like so. Yeah. Hmm. Now we can go up here. It'll probably look more attractive than that uh, provocateur tank anyway. Heal back up. Swing this. Ho, 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 ho. We need to switch back to an anti air. And then. Um, Put around in that Wellington. Call it a day here as well. It's looking ugly for that unit. Ugly for that unit. And ugly for that unit as well. Let's see here. We're good there. We're happy there. Uh, why not? Why not, dude? We can get some air award points inside. One point. No points. We heal up here. Uh, yeah. Heal that. Uh, repair that unit uh, next turn. getting plinked away at. The most of our prestige loss, at least half of it, must come from the air. And these artillery. I would have thrown in a mosquito, one of those mosquito planes into the mix just, just for flavor purposes and such. Let's see here. Let's roll this Hmm. Um. I wonder if we could attack you, retreat him, and then overrun him. Let's try it. We'll go in the bush. He didn't, though. Grab an overrun on his dime. Let's see here. Three and five. Zero eight. Where will it go? And how far can you move? Two moves. He'll retreat right here. We'll have to go chase him down. That, and that, that'll put us adjacent to this bunker. This uh, unit here will not be enough to uh, defend him against his 20 strength strong point. So, uh, what we'll do is some Yeah, we'll go up here. Let's move there. 
And then uh, we'll attack you. We'll heal you. Um, uh, uh, no, we will we'll switch places like so. What's that? No, no. We'll switch places here. You not do it? All right, just shift button here. That means we can't heal you, but we're happy enough about that, no problem. We can go up and surrenderize that guy. I'm pretty sure we can get there and then uh, return to uh, merge with uh, this unit. We can move back here, heal, and then remerge for our perpetual surrender machine there. And everything looks good uh, on this side. We have one fighter plane. And why not go like this? And we can just um, make sure that nothing spawns around this area. These guys, uh, yeah. All right, I uh, know uh, D and Trench here was. Hmm. I see. Well, why we're up here? We could um, seek to sneak by the slot here without any sort of ability to reinforce that 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 unit whatsoever and I do mean whatsoever so um, I think he would become immediately encircled as well at least he could unless he resupplies from the edge of the map and I'm we're not going in there we're, we're going back here we're gonna finish with this lot here go up there and flame these guys out so we don't get uh, encircled and destroyed They didn't bite. And, um, let's see, we can do one or the other, this or that. Zero nine, I see. Zero nine. We'll see about zero nine. We have a little something for these guys this turn. Three and five. Any of the heavy infantry? There's not. So, it may be a bit overkill, but, uh, I see. We'll do it anyway. That means we can uh, move out of Grenadier off the river there. I'm gonna take some fire from this thing. Hmm. We're not do much to it either, really, other than take a point of damage that we don't want. I suppose we could blast it. Well, we'll take the damage there. What happens here? Twelve points again, yeah. We'll roll over here. Pop you. We'll flame him out. 13 points. We can roll down here. Put it to you. Overrun the rascal there. Let's see, 113. Hmm. Really wanted another unit down in this direction here. Sending these guys up up here. It's not working out particularly well. So <clears throat> ten points there. We have uh, two moves. So in theory we can get here. we do any damage to this guy at all, we have a chance to overrun him. <clears throat> or, there's one point. 
Hmm. How much here? Zero points. If we go right here, we need to... I see. Well, we'll go here. Maybe our 10% aiming assistance will get this guy. It's not, though. Alright. Hmm. I wonder if we put a recon over there? Because our entrenchment doesn't matter, and this guy's doing one point. So that means we're going to be a, a point shy. But maybe if we send a recon over... It might raise... It did, you know, 15 points. Let's do it. We've done it. Let's go uh, forward here, take over that base. We'll swing down here. And, uh... Hmm. Well, um... That's, um... What's your range? Not quite far enough, really. Let's go right here on this fortification. There's no one about. We know what's here, like three units or something. Infantry, no tanks. It's on a fortification. It's no problem. Let's see here. We can bomb somebody. What happened here? We took a bunch of points. Hmm. There must be an anti-tank right here. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Let's see, we can um well, let's bomb him. We can go, uh, <clears throat> can go right here and protect our very expensive unit like so. We can heal you up as well and get bombed again. Well, I think that's everybody. Next turn. Damage good for us. That's a 900 point unit right there. So we know that there is a an camouflaged anti tank right here, which means. Let's say we go up and flame him. Boom! Boom! Let's see here, are you in a. 10 of 10. We'll try that same trick with this recon plane. Go right down here. Flame that guy out as well. Now these sea tanks, I mean, uh, flame panzers are not technically available in this scenario. It uh, makes a huge difference, as you'll note. This whole lot are now gone. If I didn't have a flame tank, I'd have to have, <clears throat> quite literally, I think at least a... Uh, uh, 25 or more points in uh, artillery in the core uh, devoted to de-entrenching and then dispatching these guys. However, thanks to our industrial connections uh, trait, I play. It must be the mod that that allowed this uh, flame panzer II to to pop in because I've, I've played this uh, Epsom scenario more than a few times and have never gotten a, a flame panzer ever. So, certainly not complaining about it. Let's see if we can um, put you away. Uh, let's see here. At some point, we'd want to heal this unit, but it, it hardly seems worth it for the one point. And that may well be famous last words. Uh, 
Let's see, we can get the heck out of this area. The problem is our glorious flame panzer will be stuck, stuck. We're going to send him up here. This unit. <clears throat> can we get the... Uh, we can proceed in this direction. Safely engage this unit. Find out. If we'd have gone here, there could have been a unit here would have stopped us from proceeding to this hex. One is the same as the other, I believe, in this case. We took some points somewhere. Well, who are you? That's a heavy infantry. 10 of 10. We can't ignore his entrenchments, so we want to be done with it. See you as well. Where, where's our bomber? It's right here. In theory, if we de-entrench this unit, we should do more damage to him. Eight points. Hmm. Is there a way to uh, increase our damage? Perhaps aiming assistance. We need to guard this. Um, let's see now. Hmm. We'd have to go here. Hmm. Well, well. <sighs> Let's see, this guy. Hmm. How far do you go? Two. The last turn we saw there was nothing here that doesn't... Hmm. We need to uh, summon up a tactical bomber here. Recon plane, let's place him uh, right here. We lit up that area. There's nothing there. Where's our other uh, recon planes and such? There's one here. We see this. There's nothing there. <clears throat> let's check to see what's over here. Nothing. Well, why not go right here? I don't see any reason why I shouldn't, really. There's a bunch of these slow-moving infantry. There's no Matilda slope, which are slow-moving tanks. So, um, we'll get back up to a ship shape, as it were, and wait for these other units to uh, rejoin before proceeding against the aerodrome. That sounds reasonable as enough, really. Uh, we can roll up here, and uh, there's no need for any of that, really. He doesn't need any support whatsoever. Uh, what we do need is one more point against you, so we can heal our last point up to full strength of 17. get on that hill. Yeah. And then, um, well, we can go right here and protect these units via air. And then we can also send you to protect these bombers. See if our aiming assistance trait is enough. Still eight points, I see. Yeah. What else do we have here? Grab two points. Unfortunately, there's no bridge across this swamp. Which means... Uh, what does it mean? Hmm. There will inevitably be another spawn here, as it seems to spawn every couple of turns. They'll proceed down this road. And then where will we be? We'll be up here, trying to engage this, uh, these victory hexes and these heavily entrenched infantry, etc. To no uh, real point. So we'll just heal up there and wait for a turn and see what happens. 
I'll grab a um, air award point here. And that's about the size of that. There's nothing else going on, right? You have moved. Hopefully he doesn't get bombed. Looks like that anti-air unit there has stepped up. And there goes another recon plane. Let's see, we can overrun you. Ten points. Hmm. I think we could probably bomb this guy. Ten points. Can bomb this other guy as well. Where where there he is. We'll go, um, we'll send our aiming assistance man up here as well, um, actually or not, and then we can send him, yeah, let's attack like so, we'll put it to those guys there, As we have no other units really about, we may as well go up here. I see. Zero four. Overrun that unit as well, and then heal. I was lamenting, about to lament, uh, the fact that we'd have to move here and couldn't heal, but apparently we can. So that uh, worked out very well. Now we need to uh, cover these bombers. We can do that with uh, this unit. And then... Um, hmm. Let's see. We'll heal this unit up there. And overrun this anti-air. we can go up here I'd like to heal up but uh, we'll just wait there seems to be a turn delay anyway maybe and then we'll go um, full organic right here but we'll be under the cover let's go um, we'll send our double strike bar fighter up here to, uh, to cover this unit as well as the anti-air, so that's the extent of our ability to destroy enemy fighters, as this unit here clearly is too far to take out this hurricane. And then we're we're in the close here, so we'll get uh, we'll get here, and uh, this unit will exert a zone of control here, so it'd have to come quite a ways around. I suppose a recon car could do it. Get at our anti-air there. Well, you have to show me that they have the recon car. I don't think they have it. And then, um, I suppose we could find out. Let's find out what's up here. I think that is, um, that's it for this turn. These guys um, have healed up. And we can pull back here. Uh, let's see. Give these guys just a bit of uh, rope with which to hang themselves with and such. Um, we'll pull back like so. We can go um, put the provocateur there. And we 
can go um, on that. Pull back here. Go like that as well. You'll probably try to make a beeline for the anti-air. End up in this hex. Redirected to the provocateur unit. Backed up by this camouflaged anti-tank. Let's um, swing up here. Protect this whole lot, essentially. Except the provocateur. And that... Uh, that's the end of that turn, next turn. Somebody's problem. Did a point there. Hmm. The flame man cometh here. He's gonna do the cha-cha right up there against these anti-tanks and open up this this uh, all we need to do is get there. Let's see. We'll grab four points there. Heal you up as well. We'll heal you up. Let's see. We'd want to get uh, this unit finally closer to the action. Which is not very, it would seem. Well, we'll go right here, ne nevertheless, and uh, we'll overrun. I see. Well, we'll grab some prestige as well. There's no rush, really, per se. We'll surrender this unit. We'll put it to this 25 pounder. It's a minor river there, this guy. So let's roll over here as well. We can uh, go up here on this uh, fortification and dare the enemy to attack. I see. Apparently the enemy will attack. Unless we were to pin him. Which is exactly what I plan to do. Maybe he would not have attacked us. He's uh, 10 of 10 entrenched, but well... What's done here is done. We'll be go um, 7, 8, uh, 10, 11. Um, we'll go like this. We need three recon planes. There we go. We'll put one here. We'll put one there. Drop another one right here. Alright, so everything seems to be roughly in order. It's countryside there. Pull back here. I'm pretty sure that's everybody who can do much of anything. We can go right here again. Next turn. Okay. How do they know? How do they know? They were going there anyway, or? Hmm. Well, 
down here. Splash you. Relatively painless, I suppose. Let's see. There's 15 points right there. Nine points. There's 12 right there. How far can you get? Not quite close enough, but... Uh, at least not close enough for the flame tank to move up, but he can stay there. And move you up. Pull back right here. Swing right here. Um, how far can you go? Right here. Can get you uh, right here. Swing you up here under cover there. Of the uh, dual support G tank or H tank. And then uh, this guy will roll right down. We're not. We're not. He can't do it. And you. There's a 10 of 10. If he wants to come down and put two points in my anti-air, I say more power to him. Have at it. Let's find out what goes on here. He'll de-entrench himself. He's presently 10 of 10. Let's see what we have here. Nothing. We can put eight points in that unit there as well. Do it. We'll go see what goes on up here. Nothing. Next turn. arrived these guys are on these fortifications at 10 of 10 are are in every circumstance ex except this one with this flame fans are a major pain to deal with I suppose a uh, in the Sewell infantry with ignores entrenchment is, is another solution let's see there's this guy again Hmm. We don't really know what goes on up here. We don't really know. Let's find out. What we need to do is, is access that aerodrome. I feel safer <clears throat> in this circumstance going in. We're going to get bombed. Unless, of course, we don't. We're busy here now? We're not, though. We can uh, drop this uh, plane. And also... There doesn't seem to be any issues with it, really. What if we go up here and drop this plane? And then get underneath. Or fighter. So we can. What can we do, really? We can go. We can put our 152 there. We can get you up here to support this. Should any anything come from somewhere that we don't know of at present, we can go. Um, Hmm. We we're gonna put the 152 here. 
And you here. And you, um... He's happy right there. Go right here. Uh -oh. Let's see here. We, we lost our ability to be, be supported. We'll go right here. At least artillery support. This guy is busy with the uh, recon, and then the 152 is here. So why not go? Uh, why not heal up right here? We're gonna get this unit up to full strength. It's the last thing I do. Let's see. We're good there. These units, unfortunately, we'll go and support that. We'll go right here as well. We'll do that again. That's it next turn. The raiding London is uh, looking increasingly uh, like it's a stretch goal of sorts. But we don't need the commendation points as all what there is really I think to spend them on. It's more uh, British uh, tank parts that we don't really use so much. There's a five of five. Let's roll up here. We have a, a huge cache of, of what not. And the Messer, Messer Schmidt blueprints. Let's see here, zero and nine. As long as we're in the area here, we may as well surrenderize this uh, recon vehicle. Grab a bit of prestige. Go here, remerge. Thirteen points. Where where is London? It's here. So we're sort of close and not exactly close, but we're sort of close. Looks as though we took some fire from this. Hmm. What if we go like that? Eight points. Let's see. Let's see what goes on up near London. We've been, I see, ambushed. All right. Then we'll go up here. Three zero. See how far you can go, uh, far enough, at least in theory. I would wager we could go and pulverize the sky. We'll go like that. We've got an extra point there from aiming assistance. Overrun them. Don't see any tanks. We have one round left, unfortunately. These guys are heavily entrenched. That uh, equation gets a lot more favorable for them when we have no rounds. Uh, however, hmm, four and five, one and four is free, essentially. We can go and offer our um, a zone of control here as well. And, um, what would happen here? I'm going to take some fire, what of it? We can roll up here, take this uh, victory hex. 
How about you, home guard? Hmm? Nothing about it, Norse entrenchment and such, so... We can, um... We can go up here. We can, we can do that. We'll go uh, right here as well. Get here. Two and nine. Hmm. Okay, so, um... Three and two. Hmm. Maybe we'll just not take any fire and not worry either. Hmm. Do we have a recon plane? Within range? I don't think that we do. So dispatching this um, is going to be trouble. We have a plane here. We could go up there and we could have bombed this guy instead now. We're going to take some fire. Hmm. We'll go like this. Protect our recon car. And we'll get uh, right here underneath our fighter plane as well. Again, we have you, uh, uh, we'll go on this fortification here and wait, we'll hold down that city. I think these guys are happy, we can heal up, 0808, let's go over here, call it a turn. my infantryman. I think it's over again, my poor grenadier. We just got the plus one ground defense. We've um, caused the enemy to expose his position. So, we can roll up here. Put it to this anti-air there as well, which means we can pulverize uh, these guys with uh, impunity. Who are you? A two-pounder. I think there's an anti-air skulking around here somewhere. Or an uh, anti-tank, actually. Question exactly is where is said anti-tank? If I don't miss my guess, he's, he's right here. We can't find him from air. Well, if he's not there, he's here. He's not there. Where is he gone? I don't know. I see. Yeah, he's probably here. On this fortification. And we'll run into him. But he's either here or here. The problem is we couldn't overrun him here for 3-9. It'll get even worse on this fortification. Other than we can pulverize the, uh, the guy. If we go here, I doubt he's here. But if he is, um, will we suffer for it? We won't, though. close but this guy doesn't move far enough to do anything and does not have 
fast deploy. So we'll not suffer at all. What goes on here? I'm going to find out. Nothing. Now what we have here is our Grenadier uh, is in trouble. Trouble. We can get here. Should we be in the close? No, we shouldn't. I'm gonna go there anyway. Now these guys, if they move this grenadier, the question, the, the thing is, is, is they won't move him. We're gonna heal. No, no. We're gonna heal you. Will they do any damage? No. This guy can move him, but there's not enough infantry about to follow through. So they move him, and then they might chase him and stumble on our 152 camouflaged. But they won't do any of that. They probably will go after this flame tank, which will move right back here. This guy attacks you, nothing. 18 and 4. Now that, that, that might happen as well. It gets really ugly for this London Home Guard. As for this unit, uh, you can put them in the close, I suppose. Uh, let's put them in the close. I say, bring it, bring it. I've been running air recon this entire scenario. I have not seen any armor of note. There's just a bunch of infantry about, and there are none here. So. And then we can double, um, well, anti-tank could catch us out, um, let's see here, well, we'll go right here in the close, there's, there's nothing that's going to get at us really, these guys that can't make it, they can though, well, if, if this one unit wants to get here, de-entrench himself, I say more power to him. We're done there. Let's heal up here. We can uh, make it so that... Uh, well, we can pulverize these two here. That sounds like a really good idea. Make this guy less prone to uh, engage our unit there like so. And we can make it so this unit doesn't move at all. So he'll um, be twice as surely as well about going after our flame tank. We can go up here and put some points in that bomber. Let's see. We have another... Um, Double attack around here. We can. Hmm. Put it to these guys. These guys here. Not a real point in any of it. Other than. If we go here and forego the double, we can protect our dual support tank as well good for us and uh, this guy let's see what he can do I'm gonna grab some points here as well next turn Now, 
it's over for him. It's not though. Infantry and them, I don't get along with them so well. I don't know why they always die. Because they're always in close terrain. Is there an anti-tank there? There's not. One there. fourteen. Let's see. We can um, juice the sky. Pull back. Overrun him. He's done his job. He drew the enemy in. We'll heal him up. Let's see your story. Six of ten. Let's see here. Five and three. I think we could surrenderize this guy for um, a fair clip of prestige, really. If we send our single fire shock tactics. The shock tactics is irrelevant, at least in theory it is right now. So this guy is a 10 suppression and shocked. There's no way, well, there is a way to surrender him. He has nine, we need six points on him. That should do it, actually. That, that will surrender that unit. Or we could go and do it a uh, 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 easy way of sorts, like this, with the auto surrender for three and one. Is it one? Is it true? 1.34, it's true. We'll get more prestige. And then, uh, let's see here, four points again. It drives those guys and. Six points, seven points. Hmm. These guys are help. Who are you now? Can we do it? We've not done it though now. Well, we're gonna get this guy. Four points. And we'll overrun this guy here as well. Where can you go here? Let's see, you can... Uh, Merge back up here, move our camo to 152. We'll go here with our Vigilant Flame Tank. We'll, um... Hmm, these guys have been coming out of the woodwork. So maybe, uh... Maybe would it be best to... To do what? To invite the enemy to attack. Go up here. This is not vigilant, so we'll take a bath anyway. We can move down here. Or not, we'll just be happy right there. I'm gonna it's raining, raining, so let me see, it's raining. Any airfields about that are hmm. Let's see, so there's an airbase here as well. Hmm. Well, there's no one here, right? So for them to get to this airbase should be a trick. They can't do it. There are no planes here. There are no units here. Let's um, see if there's anyone around to pulverize. There's you. Uh, uh oh. We lost our. There's no fighter left. There's none. Uh, ah, there is, though. We'll go right here. And um, we'll heal you up. Call it a turn. Here we go again. 
again. <clears throat> we survived it. We can uh, use this downturn to uh, heal up. Heal you, let's um, heal all of our air units to maximum and then. Okay, so. Ah, the flames. Flame will flame you. Flame you. Go down here and proceed to London there. We've done it. Get down here and flame you. Let's see here. We can go like, um, hmm. This guy's doing uh, four nine at present. See, we'll heal you up again just because. We'll go here, heal up. Use a lot of recon cars as well, generally speaking. We'll go up here as well. We'll go up here. And, um,. I don't lose a lot of verdages. Is there any need to take that hex just right now? Hit and run is what we have, yeah. Not first to strike. Well, there's no rush. There's no rush. We're happy just right there. And we can move you down here as well. Next turn. We survived it. It looks as though, let's see here. Can go like that. Flame you. I see, I see. Three and seven will overrun this guy. Roll right into that victory hex or march there. What does that do here? We can move our Vigilant Flame Tank forward. Looks like he'll have some support. We can march or roll you forward as well. Let's do it. We'll grab some award points here. Go like that. Like that. And like that. And um, like that as well. I'm going to take some damage. Hmm. Let's drop on this guy here. See what goes on up there, nothing. There's a victory hex right here. Let's pulverize him. Oh boy. Okay. Should have sent the recon out first. Well. Yep, they're all right there, all right. That, uh... Distracted. My Panzer Corps binge play has to come to an end. Let's see here. There must be something to do here. Four or five. And we're all happy here. We have a U. Uh, we'll go right here as well. 
This bomber keeps taking a horrendous amount of damage. Man, 500 points. That'll never happen. So, I'd imagine it's maxed out on experience as well. Yeah, th th there's no upside to any of this really. So, we'll call it a turn. Carry on. so we can go like this take that city over uh, we'll heal you up just because we can we'll grab some points there and um, we let the flaming begin really here go right in the close there the enemy to engage ho 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 let's attack you we'll go here in the close as well we have a double artillery support they'll take a bath we'll go right here as well there's no reason to do anything really Could go right here. They could run him out of ammo. Yeah, there's no reason to do anything at all. One, four, one, seven, uh, zero, six. We'll go like this. We're stuck there. Let's repair. Repair, nothing going on here. And we can attack. Uh, let's do that next turn. Completely about those units. Okay. Hmm. Well, let the flaming begin here. We'll take you. To you. Five points. Seven points. We have an airfield here. Let's see if we can light up that area. There's nothing there. We can't make it to that airfield. We'll take that. Here. Head down there. In 14 points 12 points 9 points will go here seven points we have th um, nine left take out that airfield like so we'll go right there in the close Dare that guy to attack. It's a little, uh, it's, uh, it's too much. We could over, uh, we could not overrun, so we move, um, move right here. Let's 
swing right there. We'll take over the enemy's airfield here. <clears throat> Dare them to attack our Grenadier with the artillery support. Can't do it. We'll get out of the close. Could grab some points. There's a lot of downside, not a lot of upside. Let's um, go on this fortification and see what happens. These guys, I'm going to get them the heck out of Dodge here. We'll get them down here. Let's see about uh, taking out some of these planes here like so. That's the size of it next turn. Okay, we can put an end to the air menace here, I'm sure. All we need to do is um, we can flame this guy out. Um, we'll go like so here. Um, put 13 points like that. Let's see, 12, 25, 7. We'll go 12 here. We'll go on to the enemy's air base there. Swing forward here. Flame this guy out as well. Move forward here, more support, move the flame tank here, get our 152 right in the middle there. This guy's stuck out on his own, I suppose, what of it really. We can um, attack you, go down here, grab some award points or whatnot uh, somewhere, we can go right to that base. Actually it's all filled up it would seem. Let's see, we can go like that and grab some points. We're happy here. Everyone's happy here. We'll take some points for the road. Eight points, let's do it. Next turn. We ended with 51,000 prestige, which is more than what we started with. So we've done it. Uh, we're now going to uh, make a break for the channel and see if we can get back to the continent proper. I hope to see you in the next episode.